Welcome to Tuesday Time Out, the game Sorry. A game where you start and your job is to try to get from your start position to your home position and along the way you bump into some opponents and you have to apologize. We talked about apologies and about forgiveness Sunday morning and I shared with you several things in my own life as well as illustrations from lives of others. I hope this week you've taken time and so far you've been able to think about forgiveness. Forgiveness is one of the most liberating things you'll ever experience. To be able to forgive will release you in the freedom of God. Don't forget, it's not an option. Jesus commands us to forgive others because if we forgive others, then He'll forgive us. I'm thankful for God's forgiveness. Sunday night, what a wonderful time we had around the altar of God as we talked about tabernacles and temples. Tabernacles are places where we would go to, in the Old Testament, they would go to worship. A temple is the living temple. It says that we're to have temples that are not built by the hands of man, but built by God. Our bodies, our lives, our lifestyle, a temple of the Lord. I hope that this week you're walking and you're a living temple. That when the gospel is being preached, it's being preached by your lifestyle. So many great things are happening at First Assembly. I'm so thrilled about what God's doing. We've got so many things coming up. I hope you're a part of them. Our Wednesday night meal will be again this Wednesday night. We're going to have barbecue. I hope you can come help our ladies support missions. This Wednesday night, I'll continue our midweek series that we started last week on the parables. I'm going to talk about some more parables, and I hope that you can be a part of that. There's so much deep teaching in the parables of Jesus, and I believe that it'll be good for us all because the Word will help us, it'll stretch us, and it'll make us better followers of Christ. Then this coming Sunday is Father's Day. I want you to go out of your way and invite your father or, or someone who, who has had an impact in your life. I'm going to be preaching about being a, a man. I'm going to actually, the title of my sermon is Man Up. And I'm going to talk about uh, a father and a godly man, but that doesn't mean it's just for men, of course. The Word of God's for everyone, and I believe God has a word for this house. I'm excited, church family. Invite someone. Go out of your way and, and reach someone for Jesus. Love on them. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you soon.